Hi guys, welcome to this video on Microsoft Excel. In this session, I want to look at how you can use a VLOOKUP function to bring back multiple lines of data. So in this example on the screen, if I select a purchase order number from this drop-down list, it will either bring one record or up to six records back. So that's, this one I've just picked there is one. If I select B, there's four. If I select A, there's two, and C, there's just one. And then on the right hand side, I've got some more data which is matching this, but basically going green if these two lines equal each other. So if I select B again, B's got four records. You can see that there's a, a discrepancy there where that one's gone red, so there's only one item instead of 120. So that can be picked up. So each of these are using the VLOOKUP function to bring in multiple lines. So what I'm going to show you is how I have achieved this. So first of all, on these two sheets, this is my POs. So this is a list of my POs. And this is a list of suppliers POs. On each list, I have a list of part numbers, purchase orders, purchase order numbers, quantities, and the order date. Same on the suppliers one. PO numbers, part numbers, quantity orders. Now on each sheet, I have this helper column, which is going to tell me how many of each of these part numbers, these purchase order numbers there are. So looking at this quickly, you can see that there's two numbers there, two A's, and there is one, two, three, four B's, one C and three D's, etc. Now to achieve this, I've used the COUNTIF function, but also concatenating it with a colon and cell B2. So this is what I'm going to do. So it's equals B2, and then the concatenation symbol is the AND symbol, or you can use the function wizard. And then I need a colon. And then now I need another con uh, concatenation symbol to join it with the COUNTIF function. And then the COUNTIF function needs to be B2 colon B2. That's the range. And then the criteria will be B2 as well initially. And then I need to lock this first B2 with the F4 key. Dollar sign that one and then tick and oh yeah I missed out the quotes around the exclamation because that is text there we go so you're just joining these two together with a with a number so the part number is just simply that but now you've joined it with a COUNTIF function. So the COUNTIF function is locked at B2. So the next one down will still be locked at B2, but it's now B2 to B3. So COUNTIF B2 to B3 is equal to A. And it's saying there's two. It's returning two. One, two. Now next one down, it's, it's B2 to B4. It's looking at B4. How many is there? There is one. And then it's looking again at B4. There's two. And again, there's three, and again, there's four. So that's what that is doing. So the counter function is basically telling you how many of each of these items there are. And the same thing happens on the supplier's purchase order. You join the two together, and it comes back with a number. So it's basically giving it a unique identifier, which you can then use in the VLOOKUP. So back onto the main data sheet, you have the VLOOKUP. So I've got if error there, because if I don't have if error, if I just take that off on this blank one down the bottom there, just get rid of if error, take that off. You can end up with NA. So NA is going to be filled all these, filling all these blank spaces. So that is why the error message is on there, to, just to hide that with uh, quote, quote. So the VLOOKUP is looking at the PO number, which is this yellow cell, 
let's click on that for a minute I've called that PO number and then it has to concatenate with whatever's in B4 that's why I've got a numbered list in this column B and there's also a numbered list in column G so that's concatenating with B4 which is a 1 and then it is looking at a data range called my PO which is on this sheet this is basically this this is my PO it's a bit more than that just in case you get some more records at the bottom and then it's looking at column C3 now I could have used the rows function there because initially when I did this these columns weren't next to each other so the rows function wouldn't work but now I've moved them next to each other these rows so I could have used the row function but it doesn't matter I've used C2 so that is going to be column 2 so it's going to bring back column 2 so it's looking for column 2 which is the part number so it's brought back the part number and that is looking at column 3 uh, that's the purchase order sorry that's the part number that's the quantity and that's the date that's looking at F5 which is number 5 go back on there that's the date and because there are only four of these it stops there on row four and five and six is blank and if I change that over pick C there'll only be one C because if you go back to my POs and look for C there is only one record for C if I pick D there's several records for D and that's how that works now what's going on on the right hand side is exactly the same but it's looking at a different sheet it's looking at the suppliers POs and what you're trying to do on this front sheet is decide if there's any changes between the two lists and as you can see on this list on the right these are all flagged red which means there's a difference and what I've done there to flag that red is just conditional formatting into those cells if I just show you that manage rules and I will edit the red rule so you can see so it's basically if H4 that symbol there means is not equal to G4 if that's true go red and if it's not true if they are equal go green so this would then be a, a case to address because you've got a different part number you've got different quantities and you've got a different date and this should be formatted to a date so I'll just put that to a date so you can see that if I change the purchase order number to F again there's a mistake or a difference and you can see quite a few of these are different it's only the, basically the top one that's got the same information across D's wrong so I think C, B and A are okay B's got a mistake and A, A is correct so it's a very quick way of checking two lists it's also a quick way of showing multiple lines on a VLOOKUP so I hope that video is okay for you guys and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.